So you guys can see a really nice example of Mari being nice and playful today. Earlier she was also playing with a big jug that we had given her for enrichment. And she took the jug and filled it up with water here in the pond and we ended up drinking about three or four liters of water by herself this morning. And at the same time watering the grass. You guys can see Martha and Tamu there on the platform there. Martha's busy grooming Tamu's back. Chimpanzees here at Chimpanzee are all vegetarians, although chimpanzees are omnivores. They're part of the eggs. So what they'll do is they'll actually gather the eggs and come together and then what the one enjoys the, the egg yolk and the other one enjoys the egg white. And what they'll do is they'll actually trade for the two and then they both get to share their eggs.
He knows well back from the 1940s, we have pictures of him when he was an infant and we then realise that he is a lot older than we thought. So with old age also comes a lot of health decline. In the mornings just so we know that he's eating enough. Him and Lika will actually remain in the night shelters after we have let everyone out and they will eat indoors so that we know they are getting enough food. Running out one day, barking exactly the way that a baboon would bark as well and chase them away. he is able to maintain a good ranking within his family. So there's chimpanzee sitting just in front here, um, a bit closer to us than Joao. She has her back face towards us. Her name is Claudine. Virus is now considered on their list. So she was rescued from Central Africa, from a village and poachers they believe that when they kill a chimpanzee they can't kill baby chimps as it's going to bring bad luck on them and their family so the only way to then kill a chimpanzee is either by boiling that chimp or by using fire so when she was rescued there was a local mining company uh, just outside of this village and there was a paramedic there and he heard this scream come from this village he thought it was a child, as sometimes if they do scream in the distance, it can sound like a human. So he gathered up some of the miners and they rushed over to this village. And when they got there, they discovered these poachers trying to push Claudine into a pot of boiling water. 